So what impact do you think the new EU mobility package will have on the European road freight market uh, next It's going year? to have a big, big impact on costs. Uh, all of a sudden we're going to need more, more trucks on the road to cover the same amount of work. That, that will increase prices. Drivers will have to be paid the, the same, a, a, a minimum wage effectively in, in any European states. So, so that will increase prices. We need more administrative staff at the back end, so that will increase prices. Unfortunately, it, it will, there, there will be a price increase across the board, we believe. Um, I'm sure there's going to be some very creative people around there who, who, who will be looking to lessen those costs. Um, but unfortunately, we, we see that there will be an increase in, in freight rates. But do you think that the general public, at least, has understood that there is a price to uh, moving I, this stuff around? I think so. I think, I think there's been more and more people aware that there will be costs increase. And particularly in the press, we see it now. There, there are empty shelves. We see, we see talk about Christmas and about issues potentially at Christmas time. And, and, and freight, for once, is actually at, uh, at the forefront of people's minds. So that's, uh, that's, How that's a very good How does that feel thing. as a freight man? It's, <laughs> Yeah, I love Brexit. It's, it's, it's great to see it on the news and I didn't think there was very much about Brexit unless you went into the specialist press. And it was very much a political issue. It wasn't an issue on the front line and it, it certainly is an issue on the front line. And, and we've been working really, really hard. I think the whole logistics industry has been working mega overtime to make it as smooth as we can. So, um, yeah, I, th I think this is, this is sort of payback time for, for us to get the recognition we deserve. I completely agree because for so many years, it We've hidden our light under a bushel, right? Yes, absolutely. And now people realise that they don't get Christmas without us. No, no, it's very, very true. We've, we've seen all the Christmas tree stories for years and years and years. And, and actually now there's people having Christmas trees stuck at ports. So, uh, yeah, maybe this year might be a bit different. So I think maybe increased cost, but also people understanding the value of what you're doing. I, th I think so. Good balance it's, there. It's, it's been a race. There's, there's only ever one cheapest. That's, that's what we've always believed and that's why we've always sort of educated it's, it's about adding value to us and it's about the whole education piece and and we teach people to be able to do these things themselves and but on the other hand the people we've had people staying with us uh, because we've given them that value uh, and it's all about value added to, added to us and as I say we're trying to do it from the customer side and the haulier side and, and make the picture complete.